oxygen enters the body through the air we breathe in. Inside the lungs, the oxygen comes into contact with blood vessels. Oxygen passes from the air in the lungs into the bloodstream and is picked up by red blood cells. The blood also transports glucose around the body. The blood carries oxygen and glucose to every cell. As the blood passes through tiny capillaries, the oxygen and glucose pass out into the surrounding cells. When the oxygen and glucose meet, they react chemically and slowly release energy. This is respiration. Glucose and oxygen react, releasing energy and producing carbon dioxide and water. A constant supply of glucose and oxygen is essential. Which is why paramedics always carry oxygen and glucose to the scene of any accident. The Yorkshire Air Ambulance Service has been called out to someone trapped in a car. The casualty is only semi-conscious. Regardless of the injury, the first thing the paramedics do is give the casualty a good supply of oxygen. Do you suffer anything, love? You're diabetic. Are you on insulin? This person is diabetic. Her body can't control its blood sugar level on its own. If her blood sugar drops, she can become unconscious. So the treatment is a shot of glucose solution directly into the vein. Without a supply of glucose and oxygen in our bloodstream, we can't survive. 